In this In Vivo 15 for Mac video, we're going to talk about coding search queries and why you would do them. If you look at the Explore tab, there are several different types of queries you can do. If you come down to the Queries tab, you can click the one that says Coding Query. And a coding query gives you the opportunity to ask questions about how data are coded between more than one code, or between codes and attributes that come in with your classifications. So in this particular case, I'm going to ask a question about how students talk about books with their families. So I'm going to come down to the Talk About Books code, and I want to know whether this happens with the cases we have here that are male. So in this particular coding search query, I want to ask a question about how the children talk about books with their families. So I'm going to come to the coding query criteria, and this time I don't want to look at all the files and externals. I want to look specifically at the surveys. So there we go. I can click the surveys and choose just the surveys. So I'm going to select those. And it says, for content matching these criteria, all of the following are true. Now there's a drop down menu and you can choose any, but in this case I want all of the following to be true. So I want it to be coded at the node that says talk about books, which you see here to the left. So I'm going to select that. It's coded to all of these codes and I'm going to use the little right arrow to, in the drop down box, choose talk about books. I'm going to click the blue checkbox and tell it to select, and you see it here. And then I'm going to add a second criteria by using the plus button and getting another, another row. And in this case, I want to know about the boys, all the cases that are male. So instead of any of these codes, I want to use any case where. And then I'm going to use the little right arrow to select an attribute. So I'm coming back to my case classifications, and I'm going to choose gender. I'm going to select that attribute, and it says where gender equals, and then I'm going to use the drop-down box to select male. So I've got my criteria set. I'm going to come up to the top, just like we did for text search queries, and run the query. And what you see as a default is the reference view, and I notice that I've got Jalen, Rashad, and Carolus. They are indeed male students, and we see what units were coded to the talk about books for the students who are male. I could do that with any set of codes, looking at two sets of codes together, or codes and any attributes for my cases. Now, if I want to save the results, the default place is in this query results folder, which is fine to store it there, but recognizing that you can't code to that new code or uncode from there, but in this case I just really want to examine it. I'm not really thinking about making it a code to go in my code hierarchy, so I think that's fine. I'm going to save it in my query results, and I'm going to call it uh, Talk About Books by, by Mail Search, or maybe I'll call it Query, and I'm going to save the results there. And so we'll now find the results located in the Query Results folder talk about books by mail. We can take a look at it there. Now, notice up here that I've got an unsaved query. I'm going to go back. This is the, the query criteria or the query syntax that generated this particular result. And I think I'd like to save that because I haven't finished coding this data set. And as I add more mails to this, this the results will add additional items here, different additional references. I'm going to save the criteria giving it a title again, time, um, talk about books by mail. And I'm going to save the criteria. And so now the you'll find the save criteria here under the cr query criteria part in navigation view. And this allows me to rerun this query anytime I want without having to regenerate it. And if you're just doing this to examine your data, you should always rerun it because if you've coded additional data, the results are going to look different. If we wanted to export the results of this query, we would need to make sure that we've got the query results open and we have, we're have we seeing them and talk about books. We would say export, export items. And we would, it would export right out to a um, MS Word file.